Here we go. Top 10 minis that new players in Warcraft Rumble should consider being some of the first ones that they invest in. Now, this list is going to be a little bit different than kind of a standard top 10 minis in the game because this is going to be in a way different context than like pro level PvP meta accounts fully maxed and all of that the game is on release so i want to get a list out there of the top 10 minis in my opinion for beginners that are going to find things generally useful able to flex into different play styles and different decks and good choices for you to think about dumping some of those first resources into so first up i've got the safe pilot right here and i got this at number 10 you'll kind of notice a little bit as i go from 10 to 1 that the minis get a little bit more consistent and a little bit more easy to get guaranteed value out of the safe pilot is definitely an extremely strong mini but for new players that are just starting to play warcraft rumble she is difficult to get consistent value out of because positioning and timing are both very very important it's very easy to waste the three gold or get a lot of value out of that three gold which means there could be a lot of variation and opportunities for you to waste gold if you aren't placing her perfectly at the right time at number nine i'm going to go with harpies and it's a little bit similar to the safe pilot harpies are a flying mini that does a very good dps versus gold cost ratio but the problem is again you can't just kind of play harpies and get value out of them it's very easy to completely waste them because they are extremely squishy but if you play them at the right time in a lane where there's kind of a lone tank or something or you wait until attackers aggro onto your tower and then drop harpies to clean everything up you can get a lot of value for their three gold costs so i wanted to get them on the list here at number nine number eight i've got stone hoof tarin he can be a very good tank because of his ability to close the distance and charge in he can kind of pop off and get in front of your squishy dps minis hold the line and also get kills at the same time so at a cost of four very good tank option for beginners to consider then at number seven we've got the griffin rider which can constitute as a cycle card or a flying card fill a few different roles for you and puts out really good dps for a two gold cost while also being flying so it can be used in a little bit of a similar way to the harpies where you can really place the griffin rider effectively and get lots of free high dps at number six i'm gonna go with the huntress a little bit of a high cost for a damage unit here at five gold but she fills so many roles and can slot into so many different play styles because she's got the range, the movement speed, the AOE, and is also resistant and sticky out there on the battlefield. So you can kind of just put her in any role, either behind a tank as part of a beatdown style to push a tower and she can kind of clean everything up that tries to engage you. Or in PvP, you can have her with her speed really control a certain lane where there's a couple different resource chests and really lock that down to earn some gold back for you and all of that. So a very solid, consistent, flexible DPS play here in the Huntress. At number five, going to go with Abomination. You're going to want at least probably one high cost tank, like a six or a seven type of a play. And I think Abomination is going to be really easy for beginners to get consistent value out of because, again, fills a lot of different roles. He's got that melee damage while also soaking up a ton and cleaving for an AoE while also displacing things with his hook. I can show you that in action here as he approaches the battlefield. He can kind of grab things, hook them in, and then AoE cleave them so if you're trying to push towers in the campaign or whatever grab objectives and spawn points abomination can be a really good first mini to kind of put out there as the beat down push that you're putting together at number four i'm going with blizzard on the list i wanted to get at least one spell on the list and in terms of a general utility and having something in your arsenal that can really bring you value in a ton of different ways why not go with blizzard it's got a decent cost of four it's going to hit everything full aoe also slow them with the frost effect so you've got somebody doing a beatdown style against you blizzard can be absolutely catastrophic against that and really get a ton of value really easy to get seven or eight gold value out of dropping the blizzard in the proper situation it's very easy to use and consistent for beginners as well 
And now we're getting into the top three. So these are going to be minis that are extremely good choices for beginners because they're easy to use and can fit into a lot of different play styles. Well bags are one of the more fun minis to use in the game because what they are is you kind of spawn these three eggs anywhere on the map. They are unbound. They do have that trait, as you can see right here. Lots of different things going on. And then those eggs are going to sit there until a melee mini engages them. And then you can get a ton of damage on the battlefield for free and engage at the opportune time when it is necessary and something is ready to engage them. So very, very fun to use, very cheap and very consistent value here, getting you damage on the battlefield when you need it the most versus something like a tank pushing down a lane. But I will say it is worth noting that it's very possible to waste a bunch of gold during a match. If you place these whelp eggs next to your home base or something and they never get engaged or you're placing them poorly where there's never going to be any melee tank walking by or anything you do want to pay attention and place them where you know something's going to engage them and force them to hatch and give you damage on the battlefield. Then at number two, going to be the Drake, and maybe not the best, most meta top end PvP mini, but we're going for consistency and easy to get value out of for beginner players. Drake is just a flying unit that can damage everything and be very consistent for you. You can hide it behind a tank. You can lock down a lane that has only ground units coming. You can use it offensively, defensively, has some fun talents like defending a tower for you or also spawning whelp eggs. So really a mini you're not going to regret investing in. It can be used a bunch of different ways. Easy to get consistent value out of. And at number one, I am going to be going with the quill bore because there is just so much value provided here. You can use the quill bore as an unbound mini to drop anywhere on the map and do things like steal chests from your opponent, or it can be used as the last mini you drop as part of a push because it is unbound and only costs two gold. You can kind of have a push that's already developing then drop the quill bore behind the tower and do fun things like get the aggro to damage onto the quill bore, enabling your squishies like your harpies or something to fly in there and do a bunch of DPS without getting targeted. So as you learn the game, either as a beginner or an expert player, there's lots of fun utility you're going to get out of the quill bore as an unbound mini and also a cheap mini that can be used to cycle your deck or take control of resources out of the map and be extremely strong in many different play styles. So there we have it. Just a recap here. We've got number 10, the safe pilot, number nine, Harpies, number eight, Stonehoof, Tarin, number seven, Griffin Rider, number six, Huntress, number five, Abomination, number four, Blizzard, number three, Welp Eggs, number two, Drake, and then number one, Quillbore. So if you made it this far, it would mean a lot to earn your subscription today as I've got a lot more Warcraft Rumble content headed your way as the release of the game is drawing ever nearer. I appreciate all of you. Have a good rest of your day. Thanks for watching. Peace.